Now there's a pretty plant right there. This is a clone. Big Mama clone. And this is a clone. I'm going up to one of my gardens. I'm going to transplant these guys uh, in the ground. And uh, they should really take off from there. So should be getting some good fruit this year out of these guys. It's a clone of my other Big Mama over here. This big guy over here. Or gal, I should say. And uh, this is a beautiful plant. It's got beautiful tomatoes in there. Cluster after cluster. It's a big mama. And I've got a few other guys. I took a few more clippings from that. And I'll show you how I come to clone these guys. So what I have here is a few uh, branches that I have trimmed. Yeah, it's, <laughs> this is not soaking in beer. It's water. It's rinsed out. But this is one uh, one of them. It happened to head just snapped off. So I have that little uh, piece there. That's going to be a nice plant, hopefully. And I have two clippings in here. I'm ex just experimenting with uh, just some different types. This type of uh, just a you know leader that comes out, and this is more of a head piece over here. It's got a little head on it. So what I did is I put that in rooting. I dipped the ends in rooting uh, powder, which I'll show you here. Okay, I think you can see a little better out here. So this is basically the rooting powder that I'm using. It's called Green Light uh, Rooting Hormone. Uh, I really, the, the directions tell you to dip it in here and then sticking it directly into the wet soil. But I had pretty good luck sticking the uh, stems in the water first. So I dipped it in here and I have them soaking in the water for, for probably about three or four days. I'll take it out and then I'll stick them back into the uh, wet soil. Okay, so the main thing is with these guys, uh, like I said, is uh, the luck that I've had is stick them in, stick the stems in the water for three days, take them out, and now I'm going to repot these in some uh, regular little pots and keep the pots wet. Keep them out of the sun, which is the main important thing. They cannot be in direct sunlight, otherwise they will wilt if they don't have roots. So these are going to be out of the sun for at least a week and a half. Okay, and then we're going to wean them back on the sun. Once you get them in the pots with the soil, um, foam uh, in the sun maybe uh, an hour a day and just may increase that daily until they get get started so that's how I did the other two that I'm having great luck with so and now uh, once again uh, Staten Island Slim I saw some of the ones that he did and that's what kind of gave me the idea to do this so it's kind of a fun thing to do you get awesome plants if you have a really great plant and you like it clip a few uh, stems off it and uh, Reroute them, make a clone. It's awesome. So, and uh, you ensure that you're going to have a decent plant. Very good. Cool. Good luck, guys, and uh, try it out. Okay, folks, we got those two clones planted. Okay. Water them up good, and uh, they should be taken off. These tomatoes are a little close to the ground, but I'll probably just put some uh, something under there so that they don't rot. I had to bury it deep. And I also had to trim the leaves, so. They should be good to go. Happy with the new home. Get cool.